barbed wire surrounds this Colorado women's prison. Inside, it's more friendly. Down this hallway is even a radio station. Welcome to Hotlines on Inside Wire. I'm Cynthia Gonzalez. I'm Amber Pierce. And I'm Sarah Berry. At Denver Women's Correctional Facility. Inside Wire, Colorado Prison Radio, is the first statewide prison radio station in the United States. Inmates can listen in their cells. People outside of prison can tune in through a smartphone app. Cynthia Gonzalez works on shows 50 hours a week. It's like, oh, I can't wait to go to sleep at night so I can wake up in the morning and go to work. The team produces news and music. They also interview other people in the prison for a daily program called Behind the Mic. Behind the Mic on Inside Wire. On this show, Cynthia Gonzalez is talking with a mother whose addictions have landed her back in prison away from her kids. What do you think you want them to know about you most and forgive you for the most? That I chose my addiction over my kids. That's hard to say, but it's the truth. I chose drugs over my kids. And um, it cost them, and I pray that they can forgive me. Gonzalez says that being honest about regrets is often healing for the speaker and for listeners who had their own regrets, including Gonzalez. I had a victim, you know, and I, had, I left behind a victim's family. Her colleague Sarah Berry says crimes often happen when people are feeling broken. So she says she's working on healing from her past, mentoring other inmates and reaching out through radio. We are trying to create a space that actually gives like a, a positive way to actually become a part of your community. Helping the radio host is University of Denver creative media consultant Ryan Canero. Mm, there's just a one edit at four minutes, nine seconds to check. Canero views radio as part of rebuilding connections for inmates inside prison and out. You know, over 90% of um, Colorado uh, residents of facilities who are incarcerated will return to their community. And so what are we doing in the system to make that a successful experience? That's a personal question for producer Amber Pierce. After over a decade in prison, her release date is just two years away. What is it going to be like for me out there? Pierce says she's gaining confidence about her future by helping other inmates share what went wrong for them, what's going right, and how they are striving. Shelley Schlender for VOA News, Denver.